Chapter 15. Here we go. Attack of the Graveyard Ghouls. The rats gathered in small clusters, busily gnawing away at their prey. I need a body, I told myself. I can't escape this graveyard without a body. I am the only heir. I will be forced to float here forever, or else I will be pulled back down into the grave. Can I invade a body the way that the ghoul invaded mine? Can I take over another body? Underneath me, a rat stood by itself, stomach bloated, its red eyes glowing in the dark. A wave of sickness washed over me. Am I really thinking of invading that rat's body? Ooh. I turned away from the creature. The thought was too frightening, too disgusting. Spencer, you have to warn your family. I realized Oswald Mance is mean. Your family could be in danger, and whatever he does, you'll be blamed. He's in your body. Try, I instructed myself. Try to possess that rat. <clears throat> it will take you out of here. It will take you to your home. And then, and then what? Let's take it one step at a time, I decided, feeling sick. Nearly frozen with fear, I turned back to the rat beneath me and dove forward. As I plunged down, the rat's beady eyes jerked up as if it could see me. Its tail twitched. It turned as if to run. Before it could move, I forced myself onto its head. I remembered how the ghoul had pressed itself down over me. Starting at my head, it had just pushed down inside. Down, down. Can I do the same thing with this rat? I concentrated. Down, down, through its fur, through its skin, into the body. Tight. It was so tight in here. Tight and hot. I tried to make myself smaller. Concentrate. Concentrate. I could feel the rat twisting and turning. It squirmed and squealed in terror. It threw its head from side to side, trying to shake free of me. I concentrated harder. Fix my thoughts on burrowing inside deeper, deeper. The rat thrashed on the ground. It rolled violently left and right. It shook its body fiercely. Then the body quaked in a final shudder, and the creature went limp. It slumped to the ground totally still. I gazed around me, so hot in here, hot and wet. I tried to focus. Everything was a gray blur. I blinked my eyes. I had eyelids, real eyelids, attached to a rat's body. I moved my legs, my four short legs. Yuck! I let out a squeal. I don't want to be a rat. I want to be me. Don't think about it now, I scolded myself. Don't think about anything but getting home and warning everyone about the evil ghoul. I turned, still testing my legs. I took a deep breath, then took off. I ran through the grass. My whiskers brushed up against the tall blades. The grass tickled me. My stomach rubbed the dirt as I ran. I'm a rat, I told myself. I'm smelling the air like a rat and seeing everything through rat eyes. The wind brushed through my fur. My tail trailed in the air behind me. A million strange sensations. I tried to ignore them as I scuttled over the grass out through the graveyard gate. Somebody help me, help me! I stopped as I heard a faint voice calling from behind me. Startled, I perked up my ears. Was someone calling out to me? Who was calling for help? I stared into the darkness, struggling to focus my strange new eyes. No one, no one there. So I scurried on. Help me, please, I heard the small voice again. No time, I thought. I can't go back there. I turned and trotted down the hill. What would I find when I returned home? Was Oswald Mance as mean as the ghoul said? Would I be able to figure out how to get my body back from him? Or was my body lost to me forever? All right, there's chapter 15. I, 14 and 15. I will be back later to read 16 and 17. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful afternoon.